Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, and in this video, I think I found a level that rivals the pool rooms for a chill liminal vibe. So if you like chill liminal vibes in the back rooms, then you've clicked on the right video because today I'm going to be talking about back rooms level 6999 or the neon pool rooms. This level's awesome and it's pretty chill and it's actually kind of a sub level from the pool rooms level itself. So yeah, let's get into it. Level 6999 is classified as a class habitable and is literally 100% safe. Like, <laughs> there's nothing here that can hurt you. I mean, unless you can't swim. This level has a kinda similar mythos and story as the Promised Land does, where it's a level that everyone seeks out and tries to get to, but no one knows how to get here or where the entrance is or anything like that. So it's safe to say that the level is pretty much a hot commodity. Think of it like an oasis in a desert. Everyone wants to be here, but it's virtually impossible to find, and it's mainly talked about through whispers and stories throughout the back rooms. The methods used to actually get here are very strange, and so far, it's only thought that two people ever have made it here, uh, but even then, no one knows if it's even real, or if it's just a figment of people's imaginations. The level first started to be rumored to exist back in 2019, and that is when apparently the first person got here. The physical description of this area looks like a never-ending complex with roofs and walls made out of rooms with pools in the middle. On the outside of these pools, there are chairs and tables and lanterns and lights in the corners of the floor and in the ceiling. And these lanterns and lights are responsible for most of the lighting here. The level almost feels futuristic in a way. Like, it's almost too clean and precise to be from the modern time, but it's the back rooms, so no, no one knows what time it takes place in. Most of the time, this level is colored in purple, but apparently sometimes it can be red, pink, yellow, blue, and even blacked out. So it just depends on what time you go there, I guess. As you can expect, it is foretold that this level has abundant tools and supplies laying around, like almond water and such, on top of there being chill pools that you can relax in here. It almost seems too good to be true in a way. The pools are said to go very deep, deeper than the pool rooms pools, just said pools like 15 times, and they aren't actually made out of water, but instead it's a water-like substance. Getting into these pools is like an instant sanity cleanse because it calms you down and helps you relax and chill out and forget about your anxieties, kind of like the fountain of youth that rejuvenates you in a way. The pools are also emitting a relaxing water flowing noise that can help you just chill out fully and fall asleep even. Apparently there's also an entity or two that just float around in the pools, but they're assumed to be passive and they won't attack you and they're actually facelings and they kind of just float around. To enter, as I said, it's not known all the tasks and all the stuff you have to do to get here or what you have to do in order to do anything because this level might not exist, no one knows. To exit, you have to ask one of the facelings that you saw in the pools to send you away and they will. But yeah, the reason I actually like this level is because of how mysterious it is. You know, I feel like the whispers floating around the back rooms of this perfect level where you can finally relax and finally chill, I feel like that's pretty cool. And it's kind of like a heaven area for the back rooms, you know, something for people to look forward to and have a purpose. It would give pretty much any wanderer something to look forward to finding and it would give them something to hope for and maybe even give them purpose or all of it could be fake and there could be no such thing as the neon pool rooms uh, but it would be cool if there was maybe one day we'll know for sure but as i mentioned and hinted at earlier in the video it's actually thought that you can get to this neon pool rooms level from the main pool rooms level but no one knows the exact way to do that but those two people i said that have been here supposedly came from the pool rooms and got there so if you're lucky enough, you might jump into those crazy pool rooms and be sent here, which would probably be more relaxing uh, because it doesn't get dark or scary or anything like that. It's just a bunch of infinite liminal pools that are, have purple lighting. I mean, literally, how much better can a level get? How much more relaxing can it get? Alrighty, that is it for this Backrooms Explained video. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching until the end. I genuinely appreciate you. Thank you for all the support on the channel. Uh, it's about to hit 400k. I, that's literally, utterly insane to me, and I, I just cannot believe it. Thank you all so much. Uh, if you want to help me get to 500k, be with me on this last 100k push to 500k. Just drop a sub. It's free. And when I do get to 500k, I am buying the full Backrooms outfits, the pants, the shirt, the hat, the socks, everything, and I'll be making a bunch of videos 
videos in it and it's just gonna be awesome and it's gonna be a cool thing to do 500k is gonna be amazing and the push itself to 500k is gonna happen over this fall which is also the best time of year so from you know fall to winter we're gonna be aiming for 500k that's awesome it's my favorite time of the year we're about to hit a huge milestone i'm so hype hope you're hyped for it too make sure you check down in the description below for any links and stuff you might want and also make sure you check out spoogly and toogly because on spoogly i just uploaded a really cool trevor henderson creatures explain video and on toogly i'm always uploading bangers over there real life stuff tier list horror games gaming videos pretty much everything that's cool and fun i'm playing so if you like cool and fun and me you're gonna like toogly and spoogly just hit 15k so i'm really appreciative to you of that thank you for helping me get there i appreciate it now that Brigley summer spectacular is over uh let me know what levels you want me to go over I have a ton of them planned out, of course, but I do love hearing your opinions, and if any of you suggest a cool level, I might stick it into my schedule. So let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and supporting me. I will see you later. I hope you're hyper fall. I hope you're hyper Brugmas. It's going to be awesome. I genuinely cannot wait. Seriously, I love fall and winter. My favorite time of year, my favorite time to upload, and hope you guys are ready for all the content coming on all my channels. Peace.